movies, TV shows, like any form of entertainment. We were we were depicted as the savages, the bad ones, the the ones the born killers, the ones who feel no pain, like demons, pretty much. When actually we were the holy ones stood our ground and all we wanted was to defend our lands our sacred places that we have mm -hmm. but we that couldn't happen at all 90 90 percent of our population was wiped out all across the america it just kind of makes me mad like when i look when i watch tv i i see bloodshed all throughout i just see natives dying left and right for no reason. We were taught like there were all these good people like Abraham Lincoln, the one who freed the slaves and everything. He freed one culture but enslaved another by putting all of us on reservations like today. And tiny reservations because we once had this entire American land but now all we have is this tiny piece to share like in between every nation we have. And some Some nations we have lost throughout 200 years or so. It just makes me mad to see that. Like when, when you search up like native culture, you'll see people, you'll see whites. I'm not trying to offend anyone here, but you'll see whites. Well, it is kind of offending to us. You'll see whites dressed up as natives. You'll see them in headdresses. When headdresses are like, are like the holiest thing, like to represent us as higher people. That's like us wearing badges on our chest saying that we're Marines when actually we never did anything. And it just makes me so mad. Do you guys think that there's still racism towards Indians? Oh, yeah. Yes. Yes. A lot. Very, Especially going to very school. Very discriminating. Yeah. yeah. Especially like going out to of white school. Huh? Like going to white school. White school. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's one like, thing I didn't say. Like, like, just like, us three, we go to a white school. <laughs> or us four, her, him, me, him. Us four, we go to a white school. There is like maybe like 15 of us to like 50. And it's just sad to see that. And like in history, we'll be learning oh, about this. We'll be so mad, and you'll see, you'll see whites acting like they're natives. Like we you watch the show, they were sitting there calling. It was about mm, the Lakotas and Buffalo and stuff. And later that day, we actually seen white people pretending that they were Lakota with like they had like a rope, and they acting like they were um, lassos. They're just going around people yelling Tatanka, Tatanka. Oh my God, it pissed me off so much. We were depicted as the lower as the lower race too at our school. We we're we to them we are considered the retarded ones, the dumb ones who will never make it in life. But. What we're trying to do, we want to succeed as much as they do, while they're just sitting there discriminating us. <sighs> like, like what I want to do, I actually want to see um, an actual racist, free America. Like, it's hard. We were getting in trouble too for showing our culture, cultural, of the bear dance. Our principal is telling us that we can't do that anymore. And she told us that we needed, we needed permission to do anything tribal. Called our bird at stupid. Our pre presentation stupid. Really? Yeah. And we were gonna get, we got threatened to get suspended for it. For doing it? For doing the bear dance and showing other classes what we do with our culture. Really? Were you guys like doing. What did your parents say? Everybody was mad. They, all of them called the school. Yeah. My, my parent called them, they wouldn't accept her calls. We have to go to our grandparents to learn how our native culture was. But since they're running low, we have to ask our uncles and aunties. And when you remember it, you have to pass it on to your other children and their children. Because we still want to keep our culture strong and keep it grow growing so it won't die out.